people of God, people of God. See, you know what? Another thing starting early can do is if there's any errors or do we have any delays or something like that, when you start extra, extra early, even though you may be delayed, you still can... <laughs> this man tripping me out. He over here messing with his wife. He keep picking at her sides and pushing her stomach in and cracking jokes. And he looking back at me laughing. <laughs> and she like, stop. <laughs> but um, I have met so many people just being delayed. I don't know, many of you, you probably remember, I made a trip, um, was it sometime last year? I left home, and that time, I think I left home and I went to North Carolina or something, and I got stopped by a cop. He asked me, he said, I saw everybody passing you because I was in the middle lane, but he stopped me, and him pulling me over was a blessing because I didn't realize I didn't have my pocketbook, and he ended up... Um, giving me some money he gave me fifty dollars right to get home um because i didn't have any cash on me i didn't have a, i didn't have nothing on me i was able to pull up my id and stuff and let them see who i was or whatever but i had a cash app and i knew how to use it the car but i didn't have nothing with me so i was able to send him the money back from my cash app right and i later wrote a letter to his chief and everything about what he did for me um however <laughs> I was like, that's never gonna happen to me again. <laughs> they say never say never. So how about I left early, beat the chickens up and all that, and I left my pocketbook at home. I left my pocketbook at home. So I don't have nothing. But this time, I got fuel, got enough fuel to go back home. But I don't wanna drive without no, without my ID or none of that, you know? I'm old school, I just don't wanna drive. And so I got a ram in the bush. My mama spent the night at my house last night. She was going to leave this morning. But because I left so early, she didn't have time to leave. So she got up. I was like, just hop in my car and bring me my purse, please. So she's getting in one of my other cars to come and bring me my purse. I'm just like an hour away from home. And while I was sitting here, um, this lady, she's 87 years old. She was talking to me. She's a she's an elder, and um, she and her husband stopped through. She said they're coming from. I think she said. Where she said they're coming from? Either you know, Iowa or something like. They going to they, they're going to Florida. I forgot where she said she's coming from. And she says I like getting out. She says when my husband stops to refuel and stuff. She says I like getting out. Um, to, uh, to talk to people and just, you know, exercising and stuff like that. She says, we travel a lot. We have kids, we have grandchildren. And she says, I don't know how much longer God is gonna have me here, but you know, I try to, she said, we still work. She said, my husband owns his own trucking company and, and I ride with him. She said, we travel a lot. She said, then we also have a farm. So even when we go back home, we, um, we work on our farm. We have our cows, pigs, and, and she said, um, she said, we got so much land, we're leaving it in. She said, I'm not going to sell it. People have been trying to buy it, but we're going to leave it in our um, family to the children, to our children's children. And uh, and she said, you know, I try to tell people, she said, if they would just get out and meet people. She said, so many people are on this internet now, and they're, 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 they're seeing all of this mean and hateful stuff. They're hearing all of these nasty crimes, and they're hearing about how much evil is going on. She said, but it's not really like that in the real world. She said, when we get out and we meet people, she said, there's so many people out here. She said, there's so many beautiful, nice, loving people out here in the real world. And she said, you know, growing up, she said, we didn't have all of that. We didn't have all the internet and stuff. She said, we got out and you know we played outside we played amongst other children she said and she's she was a Caucasian woman right and so she said she said so we didn't care about the color of the skin or none of that she said we didn't look into all of those things the color of the skin how much money one family made or how much less one other family made she says none of that mattered to us and mom and dad she said mom and dad never brought us up that way she said, so we, there were a mixture of us, you know, we had, we had people of different races and nationalities, black, white, you know, Hispanic. She said, we were all, um, we all grew up together. We grew up on the farm. We raised our own food. They did uh, uh, 
uh, uh, sharecropping, you know, and, and we worked. And she said, so that's me and my husband. We still work to this day. And I told her, I said, and I think that's what's keeping you so young, you know, because she's such in good spirit. She moves around so good. And she's, eight, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. She's 87 years old. And, uh, you know, she moves around in good spirit and stuff. And we just had such a great conversation. And she said, you know, you see so many people today, they, they talk about God, but they're not representations of God. She said, she said they're not rep representations of what God really is. And she says, God is really just in love, you know. And um, and, and it, she she just she, she just blessed my soul. And then her husband came and introduced himself or whatever. And you know, people of God, everything she was saying, I said, man, you, everything you're saying is just resonating so much with my spirit. I said, I think I said this about a week or so ago. You know, we can get um, don't let the internet or social media turn us into like robots. You know, there is a real world outside of the internet. You know, because the internet. And, and I think I said this a while back too with my dentist. I think I shared a me message on here that my dentist said. My dentist said that she doesn't do a lot of social media. She said she said she got Facebook and stuff. Like she'll see her family and stuff that's afar off. She said, but she don't let her friends like her friends have sent her um, uh, Facebook requests several times, but she doesn't add them. She said because if I add them on my Facebook and we're always seeing each other on social media, she said, what are we gonna have? She said, what are we going to have to talk about? She said, no, I don't add them. She said, Facebook is de dehumanizing people. People need to get off of the internet and start talking. Having People need to stop sending text messages and pick up the phone and call. And, and, you know, and so similar to what this elder was saying as well. And so I think that when we get on the internet, yes, it, it's unite many of us brothers and sisters who are far. Many of us, you, you know, we encourage one another and we are encouraged by, you know, many of you said you're encouraged by your little country, and many of you also encourage me. We pray for one another, and we discover, learn of one another, but at the same time, too much of being too much absorbed into this, into the social media, you, you become absorbed into other people's, how could I say it, into other people's um, mind of, or, or, or absorb other people's ideologies, or just the way people think from their mind, and they're not actually out in the real world. The way people think should things should be, or the way people say things should be, and we're not actually making human interaction. And this is what also fuels loneliness and a lot of depression because people are not having human conversations every day. That you know, we're made to have these type of connections every day. You know, we cannot live our lives in the in a live a life based off of the opinions of other people. And it seems like the more influential or the more followers some people have, the more people they minds they have. And, 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 and what I see sometimes people, they're only telling people their opinions and you can't live your life based on other people's opinions. Um, even my, my brother said this a while back. Everybody is different. Every man is different. Every woman is different. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an ideology. And then you have real life when real people come together. Everybody's situation and circumstances is different. So we have to make it's good for us to make human connections. And I think that's another thing that also helps me as well. You see me popping on social media a lot, but I'm always interacting with people. I'm always working or I'm always doing something that's a part of real life. You get what I'm saying? If it makes sense, it's a part of real life. It's a part of the real world, you know? So the internet will not drag my mind down. It, it won't dehumanize me because my life is not... a. a, a my life is not, how could I say it? It's not, the, the, this, this internet, social media, trends of social media don't dictate who I am in reality. It don't dictate my life in reality or it shouldn't dictate any of our lives in reality because anybody can pick up a phone or hold up a phone and talk to you in a camera and uh, even make you think that this is the way life should be. But if you really spent the day with them in their own life, what's really going on in their own homes? How, what type of work are they doing? What are they doing throughout the day when they're not on social media and if it's just sitting on social media because a lot of people are getting paid to be on social media now which is nothing wrong with that legal hustles and stuff like that but you want to also not get caught up in the fact that if somebody's getting paid to be on social media and it's their primary source of income are they really giving you what you need you know like are they really just drawing you into their opinions of life and, and, and making you afraid to go out into the real world 
and just interact with people in real life, you know? Um, and so that's a little bit of a reflection of what I was doing while I'm just sitting here waiting um, for my mom to be here with my purse so I could get some fuel and stuff like that. But, you know, just thinking about what this lady said, it was just such a blessing speaking with her. Good morning. <laughs> It was just such a blessing speaking with her and, you know, several other people that just come through to get their little coffee and hot chocolates and stuff like that in the morning. I had me some ginger tea. I've already drunk my ginger tea, but I'll probably get me some more hot chocolate um, before I leave here. Ooh, you know, but that's just what I'm sharing while I'm just sitting around twiddling my thumbs because I left my dog on purse at home you know but I'm delayed a little bit but it doesn't really affect much because I started my day so early <laughs> what time is it yeah it's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet some of you may still be laying in bed gotta get up out that bed baby I just scratch them bones but yeah interacting with people is a very good thing it's social media is one thing to bring us together but actually you know having somebody like a human being face to face and having these human interactions they really do matter having people you can pick up the phone and call and just you know talk to sometimes share your good news with you know or even just pray with you know or even share where you're studying in the word and even encourage somebody in the word coming together in agreement the bible says forsake not the fellowship of the church and all that simply means does not mean going to the building it just means for don't take for granted coming together the church who is the church us body of christ so don't take for granted coming together directly spending time with your brothers and sisters that's all that is right that's all that is so anyway that's just my little two cents just sharing from my morning um i hope you guys have a great morning make sure you when you leave your house make sure you got your wallets in your pocketbook baby <laughs> don't leave out the house and forget your stuff <laughs> have a blessed day y'all